Tifu by accidentally calling my landlord while high. So this happened last night, and basically I was just too shook to share it then. I'm a single, 24 year old guy who lives on his own. So I figure after a long, hard day of work, I would allow myself to light up a joint in my apartment. Harmless enough, right? I thought so too. A few hours go by and I start to get hungry and decide to order myself some Chinese food, so here comes the FU. I'm relatively new to the area so I'm looking up places to order from and I pick one pretty much at random. I call in my order and everything seems relatively normal until about 30 minutes later when I hear a knock at the door. Main door to my building is locked so nobody outside of the neighbor should be knocking on my door, especially not at 9 o'clock on a Monday night. I immediately begin to panic and start putting away all the evidence of the weed I had smoked earlier and stash everything in a desk drawer. I eventually I actually pull myself together and open the door to see who else, but my landlord. Yes, my landlord. Standing there, in casual clothes and holding a grocery bag with a big smiley face on it, and a paper bag inside. Now a little history, my landlord is Chinese, and basically whenever I call him it does sound pretty busy in the background, but naturally, I never put two and two together to figure that he also works at Slash Shones a restaurant nearby enough to deliver to me. So I'm standing there at the door. My apartment reeks of weed and I'm so obviously baked and alone my apartment, not to mention the whole complex is non-smoking so that's a sweet cherry on top. I ended up awkwardly taking the food and just giving a really big tip in hopes that this can kind of get swept under the rug and we can ignore that it ever happened. I also figured out that he was able to get to my door because he has a key to the zucchini building. God it took me so long to piece that together. TL, doctor got super baked in my apartment and ordered delivery. Delivery guy ended up being my landlord who saw me super baked and my apartment definitely smelled like weed and I might be in trouble. He probably is like he can smoke as long as he orders Chinese and tips this well every time. I wouldn't worry about it too much. A lot of people don't care about people smoking weed, it's 2019. And there's an even bigger portion of people that wouldn't recognize a weed smell that fast. Also, when you're baked you always have the impression that it's super obvious but this is rarely the case. Edit, small typo. Landlords are likely more worried about cigarettes due to the damage it can cause. Ha 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 ha. Dude that's hilarious. Seriously though, I'm sure everything is kosher. Looks like you found your new Chinese restaurant. Keep those tips coming ha ha. He's probably thinking, it's fine as long as he gives me those big tips or shares some of that weed with me. Tifu by biting my dentist so hard it drew blood. To keep a traumatizing story short, I was getting a root canal this morning because cheesecake me, and I obviously had my mouth numbed beyond belief. My dentist was poking around in my mouth towards the end of the procedure, and I faintly felt his gloved finger on my half numbed tongue. I was high as cheesecake on nitrous as it was, so I wasn't really paying attention when he asked me to bite down. Or so I thought. I thought he said bite down but he actually said not long now. I don't know how I completely misheard a three-word sentence, but I'm going to attribute it to the louder's button at dentist office pop music and the fact that he had on one of those blue masks covering his nose and mouth. So, I bite down hard. Cause my mouth is half numb, and I can't tell how much damage I'm doing to what I thought was some cotton or something turned out to be the dentist's gloved finger. All I heard after that was god damn it and there was some commotion and I hazily open one eye to see the dentist holding one gloved hand with the other, and his index finger exposed through a hole I apparently bit in the glove. There was a lot of blood. Like, a lot. It turns out that I got him really good on the side of his index finger with my incisor, and a different dentist had to come in and finish my root canal considering I butter nut up the other guy's money making hands. I just laid in the chair crying and sweating, thinking I'd be banned from this dentist's office or like, fined for battering my dentist. After the root canal, the other dentist came back in and thankfully was laughing, telling me that while he's been bitten many times in his career, nobody has ever got him as bad as I did. I zucchini hate going to the dentist. TLDR, I accidentally destroyed my dentist's finger because I'm a dumb shit. Edit, word. Should have told him you're bleeding because you don't floss. Dental nurse here, laughing so hard. You're not the first and won't be the last, sorry that it made you so upset. Thank you.
Oh man, I feel selfish BC I was worried I'd get in trouble for biting his finger versus actually worrying about his injury, smiley face, smiley face, smiley face, smiley face. That is intense, I feel the anxiety. LOL, as the ex of a dentist I applaud you. Plus that hand is most likely insured by Lloyds of London for several million. This story is gold. Thank you Reddit stranger. Here's an emoji gold BC I'm broke, sports medal. Tifu when I hugged an old man. I'm not on Reddit so I guess this is what's called a throwaway account? My friends said I should share this on here so blame them if this story doesn't meet the standards of this community. Otherwise enjoy. I went for a walk in the park this morning when I noticed an elderly homeless man in a wheelchair holding up a sign that said please spare an old man and his best friend from starving this festive season. The best friend he was referring to was a stray dog sleeping next to him. A border collie practically as old as its owner. It was impossible for me to pass the poor man and his dog without helping them out in in some way. So, I ordered food for the old man via Uber Eats. Enough to share with his canine companion. It was a surprise to the old man but a welcomed one. By the time the food arrived, I had heard the old man's entire life story. He was so over the moon about the meal, he asked if he could give me a hug as a gesture of gratitude. Of course I said yes. So I hugged the old man, hi poured his dog and then left the two of them to feast in peace. About five minutes after that humans being brothers moment I realized my phone and my wallet was gone. At first I thought I must have dropped it somewhere, so I retraced my steps and eventually ended up back at the location where I met the homeless old man. It was also the last location where I used my phone, to order from Uber Eats, and my wallet, to pay for the order. The old man and his banana dog was no longer there. At that moment I knew that Cheesecake most likely pickpocketed me. But I also knew his old banana was in a wheelchair so if I acted quickly I could probably catch up to him. I did not. TL doctor hugged an old man who turned out to be an old thief. He got hugged, you got mugged. This is a common scam that dogs run in major cities. They lure you in with sweet old men and swipe your belongings when they're telling you 80 years worth of stories. If he even actually needed the wheelchair and want using it as a prop. Banana, it's hard to be angry at the guy, but he's still a piece of banana. Whole thing was probably a setup frown. It's winter. Keep your damned wallet in the inner breast pocket of your jacket. Don't buy jackets without them. A zippered pocket is an acceptable alternative.